please notice the fly screen on the right hand side and two solid walls. Normally on this counter you either have uh, fast food that's actually being cooked and then put in a container and then actually served to your customer. In that case you don't need a sneeze guard or you don't need a food warmer. Things like hot dogs and that uh, cook quickly and then serve to the customer without actually having to wait in the container. If uh, you actually have food displaying on this table, then you must have some kind of a sneeze guard. Uh, sneeze guard uh, could be a plastic sheet running across or a plastic sheet that covers the food or the food in the container that people can see but they cannot actually uh, spit into it. Um, underneath the table, you can actually do a bit of storage or whatever, or you can actually have a custom made table for this. This is just a, a plain plastic table that you can get from Bunnings. As you can see, this is a long table, about 2.5. Okay. Beyond the front, then you have your working area. You have your esky for your cold drinks or whatever to sell, or well, that could be your food where it needs to be stored in ice under 5 degrees. You have your fresh water for cooking. Uh, this is a tap water in a container. Normally, just a container, some actually have a tap at the end, but we find it easy to pour it out. So that's your fresh water for drinking. Uh, this is your workstation. Huh? You've got your um, deep fryer with the power. You can see this is a 10 amp power point and we also have a pad. Uh, so all the electric equipment sh should be tapped. Uh, the extension cords and everything else that we need to bring along also. We have gloves and hats in here if you need gloves and hats for your cooking. You've got your stove that links to your gas uh, away from the back end. If you are concerned about plastic on the gas, uh, it's a windy day, you might want to put the material behind here just to make sure that uh, you're not going to ignite the marquee. Underneath, you can see there's uh, containers at the bottom to keep all things related to food off the ground. Uh, by regulation, 15 centimeters. So we are using these carry containers to do this job. They are basic carry containers that we put our product in when we're coming into the market and then we'll turn it upside down to give us the 15 centimeters that you need uh, to put the food product. And then you can have all of the things on top of that. gas tank and then this is your waste water uh, dirty water you have to take it home you cannot pour them in the ground so this is a 25 liters or 30 liters container with big lid we find it very useful because when you're cleaning your frying pan or whatever it is it's easy to pour in so waste water big top clean water small top And it would be nice if the, the top was sealed properly because when you take it home, you don't want it swirling in your car. Okay. This is uh, our sanitizer, 100 parts per million. Uh, it's between 50 to 100 parts per million of chlorine. Uh -huh. uh, we do have another lesson to teach you how to make this. This has come from household, household free bleach uh -huh, and it's very cheap to make. And it's for sanitizing tables and sanitizing equipment uh, when you need to actually do food preparations. This is our hand washing station. This is uh, the first version, cheap version that you start off and later on you can buy a hot water system unit that can plug into electricity or using gas and give you warm water. Okay. 
okay uh, what is warm water if you wash your hand it's between 40 to 50 degree 50 degree is a little bit uncomfortable so I prefer to be between 40 degree plus or minus about 5 uh, it's hot water to clean off the grease and the fat and then detergent uh -huh, to actually wash off the excess uh, grease and fat that's still left then after that you use your paper towel it needs to be paper towel and disposable into the garbage bin uh -huh. you cannot use cloths to clean your hand this is uh, by regulation you have to use paper towel okay. and this is a, a cooler normal cooler drinks uh, what we do is we're putting uh, warm water in around about 50 degrees and uh, as we found that it will stay uh, between 50 degree to 40 degree for at least about four to six hours uh, which is good for the market good enough for the market yeah. and then we have a, a stand to sit it on so that you can actually have the sink in here uh, so you can actually wash your hand use the soap wash more hand again dry it out it in the and then you can sanitize your hand and you go back to the new food preparation okay. uh, beside that we need to move this a little bit this is the, the WHNS, the safety part of the kitchen you must have the fire extinguisher some instruction in this case it's cleaning and sanitizing you can have other instruction as you work at home so you start to remember what they should do now so have the first aid kit you have your food safety supervisor certificate uh -huh. and the person who owns food safety supervisor certificate need to be in the kitchen all of the period that uh, the market is open and you also have fire market into the, the, the gas going off or the load going off so heating or something so you have your equipment to make it all safe for you okay uh, Eski if um, you actually have a choice um, you can get some of the standard Eski uh -huh. put your products in and cover them on with ice at the bottom and the top this esky has been modified for us at start we actually have a thermocouples thermometers so the thermometers actually have a reading in the back 23.1 degrees at the moment you can actually put that in the esky to see especially at the top part of the esky where the ice melt so you know that uh, at the top of your esky because at the bottom is always at zero degree because the ice and the very cold melted water at the bottom of the bottom but at the top it could be quite warmer uh, so we leave this thermocouple at the top to find out if your temperatures are dropped uh, all the food that is actually stored in here need to be stored in refrigerator first until they get down to below five degrees and then the ice will keep them under 5 degrees but if you put your food straight into here at room temperature it will take a long time to cool down under 5 degrees and also it need a lot of ice so you need to keep replacing ice and at the end of the night you should still have ice in here um, it's a good practice to keep everything under 5 degrees what happens if you come to the market and a lot of people buy all your stuff to gone you sell everything it's well and good what happened if it rained that day and you've got hundred two hundred dollar worth of food in here if you left it about five degrees more than four hours then it's more likely you have to check it so if you keep it under five and you did not sell today you can actually try and put this back on the Sanitize this first, and then you can put in your food to see what's the temperature. Below 
five, so all good. If it's above five, then you're running out of time. Okay, uh, this SP got wheels, so it does help uh, because this is a uh, 65 liters. 65 liters, if you pack them with meat and water, it weighs 65 kilos. Uh, so a lot of weight. This one is 150, the one included that we have here, massive. 